Mantor Ministries presents the Mantor Guy Podcast. We may talk about football. We could mention bacon. We might reference Rocky movies. We'll probably discuss the Mantor conferences, but we'll definitely talk about how to grow in our walk with God. Here's your host, the Mantor Guy, Jamie Holden. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mantor Guy Podcast. Jamie Holden here, and I am so happy you decided to join us once again this week. Guys, believe it or not, this phenomenon known as 2020 is almost over. And man, it's been a year for the ages. It was a trying year, and mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausting year. But God has been faithful and brought us through each and every obstacle. And like I said, it was a tough year for this ministry as well, as we had to cancel our final four mentors, but I don't want to dwell on that. Everyone had to cancel everything. Instead, I am ready to look forward. 2021 is almost here, and I am ready to go. I am so looking forward to getting back out there in 2021 with our mentor conferences. I am so excited to be with all the men once again, to see men worshiping God and seeking more of Him in their lives. I cannot wait to see what God is going to do in 2021, guys. And with that in mind this week, I want to share with you about what we have planned for the 2021 Mantor Conferences. So let's get started with our 2021 Mantor Conference preview. Guys, the theme of our 2021 Mantor Conferences is Rise and Shine. I firmly believe the word God has for men is it is time we kick back the covers of comfort and complacency, rise to our feet, and shine brightly for him to a dark world. We as men of God cannot keep burning daylight. It is time to rise and shine. What do I mean by that? Well, guys, let's look at a verse here in Matthew 5, 14 to 16. It says, You're the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 14-16 Men, it is time that we rise and shine. We are called to be light to a dark world, to stand out and to be different. We should stand out as much as a flashlight stands out in an electrical blackout. The world needs to see something different about us. Notice that the verses that we just read say that we shouldn't take our light that shines brightly to the world and place it under a bowl. You know, the old school way of saying that is hide it under a bushel, which you'll probably recognize if you ever sang the song, This Little Light of Mine. I remember being a child in Sunday school and belting out that infamous line, hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. It was a children's church classic, but in reality, not many of us know what a bushel is, and we don't put a light under a bowl. So what exactly is this first saying to us? Guys, the modern day equivalent of a bushel is a dimmer switch. Dimmer switches do what their name suggests. It dims the light and makes it less bright. A couple years ago, we had some lights installed in our living room, and one of the lights was directly over the chair where I sit and watch television each night. And when the lights were installed, the electrician asked us if we wanted to use a dimmer switch on these lights. And we had never had any dimmer switches in our houses before, so we honestly didn't know. But But the electrician really seemed to think that we needed them, so we had them installed. And the very first night I sat down to watch... An episode of Hawaii Five O. I was so happy we had that switch put in. Because the light that was directly above me, it was so bright. I could not stand how bright it was. It made a glare in my glasses. It made me feel like I was sitting under a, like under a hot light. And it was so warm sitting under the spotlight. And the light made me so uncomfortable. And I was so happy I could reach up and dim the light and make it shine less bright. And while having a dimmer light installed on this light in our living room was great, guys, having dimmers installed in our spiritual light is horrible. The problem is, too many believers have installed a dimmer switch on their spiritual light. They dim their light if it's too bright for some people, or if it makes others uncomfortable, or if the world finds Christianity offensive. But the truth is, the gospel is offensive to a sinful world. It is truth amid lies and a standard among a world filled with compromise. 
It always has and always will offend. But we are called to shine on anyway. We must shine bright. We must be light in the dark world. We cannot stay in the sidelines any longer trying not to make waves. God called us to be wave makers, to shine bright, and we have to rise and shine. So that's the theme of the 2021 conferences for Mantor Ministries next year. And after this short break, I'm going to share with you about our workshops, as well as the dates and locations of our 2021 Rise and Shine Mantor conferences. I know you're going to dig this. Like what you're hearing? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Thanks. Guys, we have something brand new for you as we head into 2021. For the first time ever, Mantor Ministries has put together a one-year Bible reading plan called Burning Daylight. This 365-day Bible reading plan will consist of six days of Bible reading specifically planned for men and one day of a devotional each week for all 52 weeks of the year. It is completely free. You can sign up for this daily Bible reading plan at mantorministries.com slash Bible plan today. It's time we know what we believe as men of God and we develop our convictions and these convictions are developed through God's word. And to develop these commissions, you got to know what the Bible says. So sign up today for our free one-year Bible reading plan, Burning Daylight, at mantorministries.com Bible plan. That's mantorministries.com slash Bible plan. The Mantor Guy Podcast, helping men grow in their walk with God. Hey guys, Jimmy Holden here, the Mantor Guy. And you know, so often men tell me that they can't afford to use covenant eyes. And my immediate response back is, dude, you can't afford not to use Covenant Eyes. For 53 cents a day, you can protect every computer, every laptop, every tablet and cell phone that you and your family own from the trap of internet pornography. I tell them for 53 cents a day or $16 a month, you can make sure your little girls never stumble onto pornography as she uses Snapchat or does any internet searches while doing her homework. For 53 cents a day, you can make sure your son never falls into the trap of pornography or even sees it accidentally while online. I say for 53 cents a day, you can protect your wife from getting trapped in the trap of internet porn and protect your marriage. And I tell them for 53 cents a day, you can help break the cycle of internet pornography that's been holding in your life. Guys, you and your family, and most importantly, your walk with God cannot afford for you not to use Covenant Eyes. So, head to MantorMinistries.com and hit the Covenant Eyes button in the upper right hand corner to get one month of free service. Try it out. I know you're going to love it. You're never going to regret it. Guys, do it today. You can't afford not to have Covenant Eyes be a part of your life. Listen to the Mantor Guy podcast on the go via Apple Podcast and Google Play. Thanks. You asked, we answered. For the past few years, we had so many men request an audio version of our books, and we are happy to bring you our first ever audio book. Check out this sample from Whatever It Takes Men's Edition audiobook. Over the years of my life, I have been faced with this question over and over again as God repeatedly asked me to take new leaps of faith, to follow him blindly wherever he leads, to go boldly into new areas of life and ministry, to give everything up for him, and to do whatever it takes to follow his calling on my life. Over and over, I have made the reckless decision to follow Jesus. Even though I didn't always know where that would take me, I knew that I loved Jesus and wanted his will for my life. You can get your copy today at Amazon, Audible Books, and iTunes. Visit MantorMinistries.com slash whatever it takes, all one word, for more information. Welcome back to the Mantor Guy Podcast. Welcome back, guys, as we continue our preview of the 2021 Rise and Shine Mantor Conferences. I'm really excited about the three new workshop topics we will be bringing to you in the new year of conferences. Each one is so incredibly practical. The theme of the first workshop is God time, developing your devotional life. This first workshop is designed to help you start and maintain a strong personal relationship with God. Most men of God know they should be having daily devotions, but many men have no idea what this means or how to go about implementing this practice. 
And we want this workshop to be a practical instruction on what daily devotionals are, how you can adopt them into your life, and a challenge to commit to implementing them into your daily lives. Our hope is men walk away understanding what it means to spend time with God, how to do it, and to implement it into their daily lives, making them stronger than ever spiritually. The second workshop we're offering is Priorities, Making Time for What Matters. Recently at the Endurance Men's Conference, Assembly of God General Superintendent Doug Clay said that as men, we need to give our best energies to our most important relationships. And that really resonated with me because I believe the same thing. We were already planning on offering a workshop on that title. Men of God need to prioritize their lives. We all know life's busy, guys, and a successful man has priorities he needs to put first above the many things pulling for our attention. And in this workshop, we're going to focus on some of the priorities of a godly man, such as daily devotions, health and wellness, time with our family, mentoring, and so much more. We want this to be a practical workshop that challenges men to get their priorities where they need to be. We want men to leave this workshop knowing what needs to be their top priorities in life and how to keep everything else in proper perspective. And the third workshop we're going to be offering is called Shine Bright, Sharing Your Story with Those Around You. And we are really planning on this third workshop being so incredibly practical as we help men learn how to share their story. Most men know they're called to share their faith and win the loss but few men actually know how to do it. We would like this workshop to be a practical workshop that helps men develop their story, that helps them identify people in their life they can share this story with, and some other practical tips and advice on how to shine their light bright and reach the lost. Our desire is for men to walk away from this workshop with a game plan of what they will share and who they can share it with as they shine bright to a lost world. So guys, those are the three workshop topics that we're going to be bringing to the 2021 Man Tours. I know men are going to benefit so much from these timely, practical sessions, and I can't wait for the conferences to start. So that's the theme, guys. Those are the workshop sessions. The only question left unanswered is, where and when is my local Man Tour? So guys, here's the schedule for the Man Tour conferences in 2021. The Delaware Man Tour is going to be at Calvary Church in Dover, Delaware on February 6, 2021. The Virginia Man Tour is going to be at Victory Church in Winchester, Virginia on February 20th, 2021. The East Central PA Man Tour is going to be an Emanuel Assembly of God in Allentown, PA on March 6, 2021. North Central PA Man Tour is going to be at Freedom Life Church in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania on March 13th, 2021. The Central PA Man Tour is going to be at Glad Tidings Assembly of God in Middletown, PA on March 20th, 2021. The Greater Philadelphia Man Tour is going to be at Philadelphia Christian Center in Ben Salem, PA on April 17th, 2021. The Altoona PA Man Tour is going to be in Altoona, PA, obviously, at New Life Worship Center on April 24th, 2021. And the Northeast PA Man Tour is going to be in Trucksville, PA this year at Harvest Church, and it's going to be on May 1st, 2021. Guys, you can visit MantorMinistries.com for more information on each one of these events. We have the speakers listed, their bios are posted, as well as the new promo video. We have flyers and bulletin inserts for each event that you can download to promote the event. And guys, registration is even open already for online registration. So guys, that is what we are bringing you in 2021, and we'll see you at the Rise and Shine Mantors. The Mantor Guy's final thought. Guys, I can't wait to see you at our 2021 Mantors. I am praying for COVID to completely cease, but if it's still around, we have made plans with our host churches to do everything possible to continue on with the new year of conferences. Our contingency plans have contingency plans, guys. We are ready, and we are expectantly seeking God to move mightily at these conferences. So, save the date for your local mentor conference and start planning who you're going to attend with. You know, think uh, you can invite your dad, invite your brothers, your uncles, your neighbors, the men from your church, men you work with, your church's youth group. You know, men of all ages are welcome to attend the mentor conferences. 
Well, guys, we're out of time for this week. Once again, guys, thank you for listening, for giving me your time today to listen. I would love it if you took a second and shared this podcast to your social media accounts. We'd love to be able to reach even more men and help them grow in their walk with God. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a five-star rating, and leave a review on iTunes and Apple Podcasts and on Google Play. And also, guys, we are now available on Amazon Music. All you got to do is download the Amazon Music app, or if you have an Alexa, just say, Alexa, play the Mentor Guide podcast, and she'll bring you the latest episode free of charge to you. Guys, we appreciate if you took five seconds and left some five-star ratings and reviews. The more you leave, the more men can find it in their searches. Also, like I said, don't forget to visit MantorMinistries.com to learn more about our conferences, our books, our resources. But guys, once again, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the Mantor Guy Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Mantor Guy Podcast. Be sure to visit MantorMinistries.com to learn more about our books, men's ministry resources, and our Mantor conferences. You asked, we answered. For the past few years, we had so many men request an audio version of our books, and we are happy to bring you our first ever audiobook. Check out this sample from Whatever It Takes Men's Edition audiobook. Over the years of my life, I have been faced with this question over and over again as God repeatedly asked me to take new leaps of faith, to follow him blindly wherever he leads, to go boldly into new areas of life and ministry, to give everything up for him, and to do whatever it takes to follow his calling on my life. Over and over, I have made the reckless decision to follow Jesus. Even though I didn't always know where that would take me, I knew that I loved Jesus and wanted his will for my life. You can get your copy today at Amazon, Audible Books, and iTunes. Visit MantorMinistries.com slash whatever it takes, all one word, for more information. Hey guys, Jimmy Holden here, the Mantor Guy. And you know, so often men tell me that they can't afford to use covenant eyes. And my immediate response back is, dude, you can't afford not to use covenant eyes. For 53 cents a day, you can protect every computer, every laptop, every tablet and cell phone that you and your family own from the trap of internet pornography. I tell them for 53 cents a day or $16 a month, you can make sure your little girls never stumble onto pornography as she uses Snapchat or does any internet searches while doing her homework. For 53 cents a day, you can make sure your son never falls into the trap of pornography or even sees it accidentally while online. I say for 53 cents a day, you can protect your wife from getting trapped in the trap of internet porn and protect your marriage. And I tell them for 53 cents a day, you can help break the cycle of internet pornography that's been holding in your life. Guys, you and your family, and most importantly, your walk with God cannot afford for you not to use covenant eyes. So head to mantorministries.com and hit the Covenant Eyes button in the upper right-hand corner to get one month of free service. Try it out. I know you're going to love it. You're never going to regret it. Guys, do it today. You can't afford not to have Covenant Eyes be a part of your life. The Mentor Guy Podcast, helping men grow in their walk with God.